Hey there, Susie here, and right now the doors are open to the Her Business Network, but just until Thursday night at midnight. So head on over to herbusinessnetwork.com to join us. Hi, and welcome to the Her Business Podcast, the show for women growing and scaling a business. Susie here. Now, one thing that women who start their own business often say to me is, I wasn't expecting to feel so alone, so isolated. Running your own business can be exhilarating and empowering and rewarding, all those good things. But there can also be days where you walk a really lonely road. Even if you're surrounded by people who love and care about you, there can still be times where it feels like there's no one to turn to. Friends, they just don't get it. Your partner, your family, other important people in your life, They mean well, they love you, but they can sometimes keep you down by trying to keep you safe. And as you begin to second guess yourself, questioning whether you're even on the right path, I want to encourage you to find your business community. Because if you're lucky enough, you meet others along the way who understand, people who see you and celebrate you, people who speak your language as a business owner and who know the journey you're on because they're taking that same journey themselves trusting their ideas, making a difference. These are the people you can go to for much needed advice or to share a win, to have a laugh, to be inspired or to get that nudge you need to step up and step out. This is your community and it's your community that'll keep you going through good times and bad. It'll help you keep the spark alive and build your momentum in your business and it's your business community that will lift you up and let you know that you are never alone. One of the things that really lights me up is seeing members in our community connect and lift each other up and really be there for each other. And they do this in good times and in bad. And this year, well, we've had our fair share of bad. And members have been deepening their connections and their relationships within the community as a result of having to band together and collaborate and reach higher to rebound, to rebuild, to emerge stronger than they were before. Some have had to make big pivots. And your community can be part of you making these sorts of rebounds. Like Vivian Kane, a printer in Melbourne who had to close her doors because of COVID. She's a printer and so a lot of her usual work was not available for her to do. So she quickly pivoted and she started to print for the restaurants and food um, businesses that were now doing takeaway services. They now had people on the road delivering food. So she started to print for them. And then she took another pivot. She used to supply materials for live events. A lot of those live events aren't happening. So now she's providing printed materials for conference organisers who are taking their events online. And one of the core things that has helped Viv with making this rebound, making these pivots, has been being a part of what we call a goals group inside of her business. She has a couple of buddies, Liz and Wendy, who were at first business friends and fellow brainstormers and people who would give her honest feedback. And now they've become personal friends and they've really got each other's back. And that's been particularly important all year because they've all been facing considerable challenges in their businesses because of COVID. Now, one of the areas of business for Viv that has picked up during this time has been book printing. And that, she says, is because people have more time. They're finishing those books or they're seeing that a book can be a way for them to promote their work. And so just recently, she printed a book for a fellow member, Amanda Fryer, who's written a great book about diabetes. And what Amanda said was, she said, I had another printer in mind, but I really wanted to support another woman business owner right here inside the Her Business community. And the fact was that Viv is in Melbourne made it an even easier decision for Amanda to collaborate with Viv on her book. Your community can also be people that you celebrate with because sometimes having a community is not because you need help, but because you want to be surrounded with people who will also champion you. So the other night in our Facebook group, we have a private Facebook group for our members, Virginia posted a message. Now, Virginia has a decluttering service in Canberra, and she posted into the group. She said, I just want to share a win for me. My bookkeeper has just advised me that I've increased my sales by 60% compared to this time last year, this quarter. She said, I find this amazing and I'm fully booked. She said, I need to check, but I don't think I've taken holidays (laughs) for a while. She said, 
I don't have anyone else to share this win with, so I'm doing this happy dance with my her business buddies. So the community rallied behind Virginia, celebrated her win, and encouraged her to just keep going. Now, your business community can also be about collaborations, and we're seeing a lot of this, especially this year inside of our community. And just the other day, Peter Gillian, who has a business called Strong Healthy Women, was giving a shout out to Angela Council. Angela helps women who are in perimenopause, who are perimenopausal, to deal with the changes in their bodies and their lives as a result of menopause. And so she was doing a wonderful informative session for Peter's clients. Peter's business, Strong Healthy Women, has women over 50 as their main client. So this was a perfect match. And Peter said, she sent a message to me, she said, I love this group so much and the connections that are made have helped our businesses serve our clients at an even higher level. She said, thank you, Susie, for providing the space for us. So your community is a place where you can find others to collaborate with. It's also a place that can connect you with business ideas and business education. And Kylie Marks, who has a side hustle, she's got a side business she's growing with her sister called The Doggy Bakery. And she was looking at naming her new products. And so she dug into our member library and she watched a masterclass that was conducted by a fellow member, Amy Lee, Amy Lee of Heart Content, who has a wait list of clients waiting to do business with her. And the business that she has helps women with their messaging and with their brand story. And so Kylie posted a message to say, Amy and Susie, I watched the how to effectively name your product or brand as part of our August challenge. She said, and I found it really helpful and insightful. Thank you, ladies. So she's referring to the fact that uh, in August, we were focused on sales and marketing and things like naming your products and services. And so Kylie dived in and watched this masterclass. So inside of her community, she recognizes there's all sorts of expertise in branding and marketing and pricing and sales, in printing, as we just mentioned. And so she's tapping into business ideas and education right here inside of her business community. Now, your business community can also be about peer-to-peer support. Now, I mentioned earlier that Liz and Wendy and Viv, they've been collaborating together, supporting each other through COVID. Another member, Katie, just gave a big shout out to the wonderful women in her peer-to-peer group, her goals group, the other day, saying that their meeting this week was full of encouragement, support with help and accountability. She said, for such a mixed group of entrepreneurs across Australia, it's always amazing how much everyone gets to take away from the group and it's really something to look forward to. So her peer-to-peer support inside of her business community means that she's connected with women around Australia who come from diverse backgrounds across different industries, but they have so much in common. And what they have in common is that they're all women who are committed to their clients, they're committed to themselves, and they're committed to growing and scaling their businesses. And they recognize that they don't have to do it alone, that their business community is there to support them along the way. Now, your community is useful for so many things, including suppliers. And Kirsty Ogden, who helps people self-publish, she gave a big thank you out to Marsha Lake from Marsha Lake Secretarial Services for her advice helping her sort out an issue that she had in her business. And she said, I really valued your kindness and positivity. And Leah Debnam gave a quick shout out to Ginny Coyle for helping her with a Canva template, you know, Canva, the design tool. And also to Nicole Stark, who said she was coaching her through the creation of a new service and course that's really going to help her create her ideal client avatars, something that is so important for getting more of your ideal clients is knowing who your ideal client is. So Leah was working with other members. Kirsty was working with other members. And so you can find these collaborations when you're surrounded by the right business network. You can also get new clients. And one person who has managed to do a lot of business inside of our network is a woman named Lauren. She's got a business called Impactivate and it's a digital marketing agency. And she too has been impacted by COVID. And she was saying to me that she had to cancel her live event. This is her big annual event. It's a big revenue driver. It brings in clients that go on to become ongoing um, done-for-you service clients. She had to cancel. But she decided she would pivot. And so she's launching an academy, a membership-based part of her business that's going to help small business owners who are also her ideal client to be able to run Facebook ads to understand digital marketing. 
And here's what Lauren said. She said, I knew that in creating this new program, I would have a supportive community and a cheerleader in Susie, genuinely rooting for my success. She said, the community of businesswomen who are super supportive and active in both seeking and providing support make it easy to follow suit. She's talking about the Her Business Network. She said, there are no egos and everyone is super helpful. People go out of their way to be helpful rather than just using the group to suck from. So what's happening here inside this business community is um, something that I'm very proud of that is part of our community. Now, you may not yet be part of our Her Business Network, but if you're not, then I encourage you to find somewhere that does give you access to um, a community that helps you rebound and rebuild, community that you can celebrate with, community that you can collaborate with, community that gives you connections to business ideas and great business education, peer-to-peer support and accountability. Because sometimes as business owners, we can be a little slippery. But when you have accountability, which is built into our Her Business Network offering, then you know you're going to stay on track. Your business community can give you access to suppliers. And as business women, you want to fast track this, right? You don't want to be Googling for services when you can tap an existing base of suppliers that other people in your network have used and they can verify are great and are trustworthy and are also small business owners so they understand that we have limits to our budgets and the resources that we can allocate but are still willing to help. Your community is a way for you to access new clients. Because when you know how to show up, position yourself, talk about your business, you can quickly become known, liked and trusted inside of your network. Now, inside of our community, we have a particular language. We talk about our connection moves and our connection moves are showing up, speaking up and lifting up. And showing up is about turning up inside the Facebook group, turning up at our monthly online networking events, no matter where you are in the country, in rural areas, in country areas, in urban areas, showing up and adding your profile in our directory so that we can share your profile with the world to over 28,000 sets of eyeballs who are part of our social networks. Showing up is about coming to the monthly networking events. It's about coming to the masterclasses. It's about giving your business a little bit of time where you are working on the business and not just in the business. And speaking up. Speaking up is about asking a question. It's about seeking a resource. It's about asking for a referral. It's about when you see a question inside of our Facebook group to offer an answer or a thumbs up or a heart or some sort of recognition. Just like when Virginia posted about her great financial results, people banded banded together and celebrated her. Speaking up is about asking for a supplier. The difference between what I'm saying and what a lot of women experience is that you're trying to do it alone. And I want you to get past that. (laughs) So you want to show up, you want to speak up in the right communities. You also want to lift up. Now, this is about sharing a referral, giving a recommendation, celebrating someone's win, thanking another person for reaching out to you. But it's also about celebrating yourself. Now, I love the Her Business community. This has been my core passion for 25 years. Now, If you're a Her Business Network member, I want you to know that you inspire me with your bravery, with your resilience, and your dedication to growing yourself. I know for some of you, this has been a really tough time, and I'm so proud to have been able to be there as part of your journey, because the thing about a great business community, a great connection network, is that we're not just there for each other when times are good. We're there for each other whenever we need each other. It's about bringing the right people around you that will be there for you, no matter what. If you're not yet part of the Her Business Network, now is the time to join us. If you head on over to herbusinessnetwork.com, the doors are open right now. The day that we are releasing this episode is the final day that we are open. So if you go to herbusinessnetwork.com and we're closed, then you can request an invitation for the next time we open. I'm not sure when that date will be, but if you're listening to this and it's um, and we're still open, then you want to dive on in. Because on the other side are connections for you, are suppliers for you, are alliances for you, are mentors and peers and collaborators uh, and advice and tons of resources. We've packed our membership with over $12,000 in bonuses. And every single month, we're adding more resources. And these resources aren't random. They're specifically designed to help you go from being a solopreneur who might be overworked, underpaid, under-resourced, to someone who has a strong, sustainable, profitable business, whether it's just you and one other person, whether you're a micro business and now you have a team or you're creating a team and you want a reliable um, budget so that you can pay your staff, you want reliable marketing, you want some plans and systems and the right technology in place, you want the right mindset because new problems can come as you're growing your business. Whatever your business situation, 
We help you identify where you are, set your goals for where you want to be, and then we direct you towards the support and resources that we have available for you that has helped women go from zero to five figures, from five figures to six figures, from six figures to doubling and tripling and even 10xing their income with our support because we're about creating sustainable businesses and doing that as a business community. Every time one of ours rises up, we all rise up. Thank you so much for listening. Before we go today, I do want to thank one of our listeners for writing this review. And this is another member that I want to give a shout out to. This is the beautiful Chandra Moran from the Transit Lounge. Now, she works with women 40 plus who um, have had a successful career. Now they want to work for themselves and she supports them to start their own business more confidently through her private coaching and her online group program called the CEO Collective. Now, she said this, she listened to an episode 149 called Run Your Own Race. And she said, I listened to the episode this morning and I loved it. Thanks for always giving such great insights and food for thought. Well, thank you, Chandra. Thank you so much for the review and thank you for listening. And I hope you get to hear this shout out. If you enjoyed this episode, leave us a review on Apple Podcasts and we will give you a shout out. I will also be so appreciative because that is how people find out about our show. Now, before you go, if you're running your own business and you want some support and guidance to be part of the most collaborative, most supportive community for women business owners, then join us. Just head on over to herbusinessnetwork.com to get your invitation. I want to thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here with me today. If you enjoyed this episode, share with a friend. If you want to get in touch with me, just write to me at podcast at herbusiness.com. I'll see you next time here on the Her Business Podcast. Bye for now.